Thank you. That's thank you. That's that's absolutely wonderful. And good night. <laughs> As a matter of fact, just before coming on, uh, one of the crews said, you know, you're the oldest presenter on the stage tonight, which is a, a good start. But I think, really, I think I might be the, the warm-up for the in-memoriams. Uh, <laughs> I, I sort of feel like a bald Norma Desmond because I'm back where I belong. <laughs> and I want to tell you, as Norma would say, uh, you know, the shows didn't get bigger. Uh, the phone calls just got lighter. It's a pleasure to be here because uh, one of my true loves uh, in the industry has been the Logies right from, uh, from day one. And it's terrific to be invited uh, to be part of it uh, tonight. Of course, um, I'm here for the, uh, the Graham Kennedy Award for most popular new talent. And as I look out on the audience, I've got to be honest, there are many faces that I, I know from the screen, but don't know them personally. And you might feel the same way, you know, what's, you know, where's this old poof come from? And <laughs> the producers thought it might be a good idea for me to give you a rundown of my career. Television came to Australia in 1956. <laughs> I was signed by Channel 7. I went to Channel 7 on air in 57. Uh, in 58, they sacked me, so I decided to resign. <laughs> I then went across to Channel 9. And the idea was, Graham, of course, at that time within Melbourne tonight, ruled the airwaves that night. And Norm Spencer, who was a wonderful program director and producer, thought it would be a good idea to have it in Melbourne today, first thing in the morning. So I'd be in the morning, Graham at night, and we'd never work together. Well, the Today Show, I was hoping, would come off, but it didn't. I was thinking I could have been the... Carl Stefanovic of the 50s. <laughs> I'd probably be dead by now, but anyway. <laughs> so, one night, uh, an announcer called in uh, and couldn't come in to do a commercial with Graham. So Norm spent, I hadn't been doing much, I'd just been wandering around the, the studios, and he said, go on and do the commercial with Graham. So on I went. It was for Glow Weave Fine Line Shirts which you could smell a mile away. And the commercial was a 60-seconder. It lasted 22 minutes. <laughs> and when I came off, Norm said, you've got a job. I want you to work with Graham. It was a great start, and it was a wonderful feeling, and a wonderful 28 years that I spent at, uh, at Channel 9. And that came... This won't take long. I, I left Channel 9 after 28 years, uh, went back to Channel 7 for a year, and then I left television and went to Channel 10. <laughs> In actual fact, it's not fair to say that because I had 14 wonderful years at, uh, at Channel 10 doing Good Morning Australia, which was uh, terrific. I had a wonderful producer. Uh, and team around me, and it was just absolutely terrific. Uh, but now, of course, I'm known primarily as the husband of Patty Newton. <laughs> but let me tell you something about... <laughs> let me tell you something about the, the time with Graham. Um, I think, actually, we've got a couple of shots of the two of us in our very early years uh, to, uh, to show you. This is going way back. I would have been 20. The Graham would have been uh, 24. But they were very exciting times. And to have a look at those shots and, uh, and see at work a master, a man who just, you know, 
brought to Australian television the greatest talent. I also thought Graham was very good. <laughs> Speaking of the young talents, Graham Kennedy was always the sort of man uh, who nurtured uh, young talent. Uh, he uh, enjoyed giving young people a, a chance on television. He was a great mentor. He mentored a lot of young people. You knew that if he went to his dressing room and it was locked, he'd be inside doing some mentoring. <laughs> Don Lane was a mentor too. He did a hell of a lot of mentoring. They were wonderful years, and years that I wouldn't swap with, uh, with anyone. Today, you've got, we've got great talent. I mean, a lot of people say, is television as good as it used to be? It was different. I mean, I can see from here, uh, Wahid Ali, who I think is one of the most talented men in Australian television. He's got the lot. He can do anything. As a matter of fact, uh, Kumbaya, I, I, uh, I, Mabia, you and I have a lot in common. I think the beautiful story is that your lovely wife, uh, she decided to convert to your faith. And uh, it's news now for everyone that Patty has done the same for me. She now drinks and she has her own TAB account, which is <laughs> just... <laughs> 